Hey guys, so today we are answering a subscriber question and the question in question is Frederick, under what circumstances is Go better than Python for backend development? So let's get into it. Well, this is an oddly specific one, but I will give it a bash. So from my perspective, I would say that Go is just almost across the board a better choice for serious application development than what Python is. It is more performant. Uh, it has a straight typing system. It is supported by Google, like it's maintained by Google. It has a, I mean, the trend and like, there, there's nothing, once again, this is not me bash talking Python. I'm just saying that from the perspective that I have and from the development that I've done so far, I know what is extremely beneficial for a larger project, for a project where there is a quite, there's a quite um, large amount of complexity going into things. And as a scripting language, Python has certain limitations that are tricky to bridge. And you can absolutely mark things up and you can absolutely get around these sort of problems. But I will argue that if you're starting from scratch, unless you have a very good reason to start with Python and the intention is to build a company around this prod product, I don't see much value in doing so. And the goal in this case, then Go is in my world just in general a better choice. The exception that I will make to this is, and this is fairly universal, I would say, this goes for pretty much any project, and I will you will probably see this as well. Guys, this idea that people who start out building something and then it becomes this big massive success case like that they beforehand thought about what would be the perfect language to build in that's not always true there are plenty of big success companies who started out with one language and then moved into something else examples of this is facebook uh, twitter there are plenty of other companies who start out with one set of requirements or one need and they go from there to in and they migrate into something different when they actually need to do that and python i think is i mean if you feel comfortable in python it's a great language for i mean scripting languages are really really great when you work on something where you know I will admit that Go's compilation time isn't really all that high. I mean, many times, depending on how big the project is, uh, I mean, at a smaller scale, it'll Go is pretty, like, it's very, very fast, very, very fast when it comes to actually rebuilding your, when your application and rerunning it. But for the most part, I would say that uh, having a scripting language at a smaller scale of project is a nice development experience, at least I think so. Personally, I remember in the days when I started with PHP and that's my still my absolute favorite thing about PHP. It's how easy it is. Like it's very reward like the the instant it's almost instant gratification. Like you, you make a change, you refresh the page and the, hey, you're off to the races. You can just you, you can be very productive. And I, th I think that's great. As I have mentioned a few times before, the issues aren't at small scale. The issues come at larger scale where you have other sort of sorts of considerations. I mean, it, when things grow to, I mean, it, it's, uh, it's sad to lose a bit of productivity, but it's vital to, sh to, to make that, uh, in my world at least, to make that switch when things go into like larger scale development because the value of having say a type system and this sort of thing at larger scale outweighs the benefit of feel of having like a, a certain amount of developer productivity uh, that's at least how i think about it because at the you lose productivity in another way. You may not be able to, like at small scale, you may be able to refresh things and everything goes super smoothly and you can just keep on working. But, and at larger scale, you may not be able to do that. And sure, that reduces your, your development uh, productivity by a bit, but you also are very much, a lot more likely to introduce regression bugs and stuff of this nature that also counts into your productivity. So I think it's a good trade-off. And then you have the performance aspects as well, but 
unless you are building something that is truly like truly requires high performance it doesn't matter all that much so well that's at least how i think about it so what i want you to take away from this is that when it comes to the like when go is a better choice versus python for back-end development i would say that it's almost across the board is a better better choice for back serious back-end development the exception to this is, of, as, as always, if you already know Python and you're really good at Python, there's no reason for you to go and learn Go just so that you can have the perfect language. Because it's very rarely the case that you, like, the thing that is going to make your project a success is, ne is almost never the language that you chose. Like, that's not the determining factor. There are a lot of other things that factor in, in into that equation, if you will. And you remember, you always have the choice of migrating at a later stage. But just in general, if you're starting from scratch and you don't know either of these languages and your intention is, I'm going to build a company this is going to be a really serious project then i think that go is the better choice have a great day